of the most interesting articles I've come across in the last couple of years is Alain de Botton's article on the fact that museums need to do a better job at creating spaces that trigger encounters with the sacred. In other words, he thinks that we need better secular institutions in which to experience the transcendent. Human beings long for these encounters with the epic to rub up against the numinous. We wake up and we want our lives to have meaning. So we go to church on Sunday, we look at beautiful cathedrals and experience some kind of awe whether or not we are believers. The spaces themselves seem to induce it. And religions understand this well. But do secular institutions, I mean, aside from the movie theater, aside from the IMAX screen, occasionally playing a film like Inception and conjuring up the cosmic awe that only brilliant sci-fi can conjure. We don't have that many spaces for this kind of stuff. You know, there was an article called GoldenEye written by Ross Anderson that spoke of the Hubble Space Telescope and how it was an instrument of man. It was the eye of man, an exoskeleton of man's optic nerve, literally allowing us to mainline the whole of time through the optic nerve. And it does allow us to do that. The Hubble, instruments of science that expand what we can see, they do expand our minds. They do help us rub up against the numinous, the intricate order, the pattern that connects. This is the thing that these things do, but only under certain compressed modes of presentation. If it wasn't for Ross Anderson's overly articulated poetic distillation of what the Hubble does, I might not have thought of it that way. If I didn't have the context in which to understand the role of the Hubble in expanding human consciousness, I might not have been able to appreciate it fully. And so again, going back to the Alan de Botton idea, how can we create more spaces, more institutions, more interfaces that mediate our encounters with the epic, our encounters with the sacred, because we need that.